Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca here, and I have the new Alter Ego palettes to swatch and play with. Phoebe says hi too. So I know that there's a lot of you, some of you have even already ordered these new Alter Ego palettes before I was able to put this review up. I just received them in PR. There's also a brush set, comes in this pouch. It is face and eyeshadow brushes, so I'm really looking forward to playing with those. But I thought what I would do is I'm gonna swatch both palettes and then I'm actually going to show you how I got this look, which is from the Bloom palette. If you're not familiar with Alter Ego, they are a, what would you call them? They're kind of a dupe line. Um, they focus on creating affordable dupes or versions of some very popular high-end palettes, mostly Natasha Denona, and they do have like Huda Beauty as well. Um, I love my shop alter ego, shop alter ego, that's what their Instagram handle is. I love my alter ego palettes. Um, their latest was Artemis over the summer. It was gorgeous. It was if you are a fan of like greens and bronze and oh my gosh, it was, I love that palette. So I find that their consistency and payoff is, is phenomenal. And they're $16, they're less than $20. So if spending 60 plus dollars, 50 some dollars on a palette isn't for you, feel free to check them out because then you can have the joy of makeup and afford it and not feel guilty and yeah, and I have a discount code, so. So I know a lot of channels similar to mine that you may already um, watch have done their uh, versions of these and I know Jen Phelps, she was fast. She was fast on the getting her video up, so. All right, let's talk first about this Blooms palette that I am wearing. This is a dupe to the Natasha Denona Love palette. Did the Love palette come out last year? I think it did. Um, and it has also been on sale. It's been such a good, good price. Now, if you watch Samantha March and she did her best of palettes countdown, this was her favorite, not this one, sorry, the Natasha Denona Love was her favorite of all time. So, hey, you know, why not, right? All right, I'm wearing just like a short sleeve t-shirt. I hope my camera behaves and my focus behaves. I'm gonna do my best to swatch these. I'm kind of the world's worst swatcher. I know Sarah from Better Off Red, she says she's the world's wor worst swatcher. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> Okay, let's start. Let's do, what's the top? So I'm actually gonna hold it this way. So this is actually the bottom row, but I'm gonna call it the top row. So there are 15 shadows in here and they are from mattes to, you know, like satin to um, metallic. I don't know if you would call them duochrome, but you know, they're kind of, yeah. So we've got, I'm gonna show it to you and then I'm gonna, so we have hibiscus, Rose, Petal, Orchid, and Violet. Okay, here we go. You guys, these are, there is a lipstick video I'm putting up soon. That's from these, yesterday. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is how I do swatches. I just do one swipe with my fingers into the pan and then I swipe it on my forearm and then you get to see how awkward I am and I feel like these are just as I would expect they are moderate in their um, concentration um, they are definitely I mean like look they've got pigment to them they have some staying power you never ugh, petal like I always those kind of shades always are invisible on me but these reds and purples are really nice and um, the duochrome the metallic are soft and actually you guys the mattes are really good like this is a matte shade and it's so smooth not chalky i promise <laughs> not chalky okay <sighs> lush lily petunia um fuchsia and let me get um what is a snapdragon 
Ooh, fuchsia looks really cool. Wait, where did fuchsia? Ooh, I'm not wearing fuchsia, but maybe I should have. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> This row, this row is even better. This is, this is good. I love these shades. Let's do this. Oh yeah. These shades are so good. Like so, like so good. I know, right? But look, okay, yeah, you know what? Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> like you're gonna do that to your eyeshadow. <laughs> No, but those are nice. Those are really, really pretty. I love how soft they are. Spoiler alert, I am wearing Lily on my eyelid and I just slapped it on with my finger and it was awesome. So <laughs> we have Peony, Azalea, Daisy, which I wouldn't have put that as a daisy. It's like silver. Calla and Black Dahlia. Do you say Dahlia or Dahlia? Do you say Peony or Peony? It's always funny when you find out people who are lilac or lilac. Um, here we go. <gasps> Ooh, I love this daisy shade. I thought it was silver and it's actually kind of like a, a pewter. It has like a bit of a lavender shift to it. It's really pretty. And I find that these two shades for matte, okay, so one, red, to matte. These are very soft. These are very nice, very soft, not chalky. Yeah, I, I like that. I actually have not played with these yet. This is the Bronze Palette Dupe. I believe it's the, it's the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is a dupe for it. Oh, I think I might do a dedicated video just for this to create a look. I love this color story. I love it. They did come up with a gold palette. I want to say it was called Goddess and it was a dupe to the Natasha Denona bronze palette. And I love that. That was two years ago. Yeah. An hour, uh, an hour and a half, a year and a half ago. I remember because I wore it in Vegas in 2019. <laughs> when we saw Lady Gaga. Remember those times when we went and saw concerts. It'll happen. It'll happen again, guys. It will. Okay. Let's oh, desert moon. Okay. This looks, I'm so excited. Can you tell desert moon rust? <laughs> I can't rattlesnake. Okay. That does say rattlesnake coyote. Ooh, that has like almost a spray over and earth. And I'm doing this backwards. I was going to do it on my other, other arm and I've already forgotten. This looks so good. Okay. Let's okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Ready? Oh shit. You guys do not laugh at my bingo chicken arm. Ready? Oh yeah. This is cool. I love it when you have like a bronze palette and something that has a lot of golds and you know, rusts, browns, zzz, zzz, and then this thing here, kind of purpley, kind of tricks ya. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna do a better job now. <laughs> Go on the other arm. This is hard because it's my left hand. Blaze. I don't know what you are. Russet, Cliff, Cougar. Seer. What? Seer. Sorry. This is so awkward. And my neighbor's out with his dogs and they're little yappers. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. Seer. Seer, like as in sear your steak. The sun sears you. Oh, it's beautiful. Did I get that right? I, okay. I want to say that blaze and sear are similar. Um, I can't. Yeah, I think there's, I don't think there's too much redundancy, maybe a smidge, maybe, hmm, maybe scorch is a little similar, huh? Mule, desert sun, 
plateau. Oh, you can't see, it's out of focus, so sorry. Plateau, scorch, expanse. Okay. <gasps> this shade right here, this shade, it's kind of like, oh, it's like sorbet. It's like, it's like cantaloupe. It's, it's so pretty. Oh, I didn't even get this shade on here. That's interesting, hey. Oh, Expanse, oh, I see. This is definitely a matte, it's kind of a satin. It's like a dark brown kind of coffee shade. I kinda, I really like it. I like that. It almost, it's like swatching I know it sounds stupid when I say it's swatching wet because, well, I am covered now in swatches. I hope those were helpful. I hope I can get those into for you to see them. Um, and uh, yeah, and so now I'm gonna just take you into this look. I'm gonna do the Blooms palette today. I'm feeling it. I have primer. They have, I think this is new, but I also feel like they had this before. Um, but I put primer on here and I am going to use my alter ego brushes. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Azalea. That like gripped immediately to the primer. Let's see how it goes on this side. I did not powder my eyelids. I think I actually, okay, I see the difference. So it definitely gripped more on the primer side and I feel like it's spreading and kind of thinning on the non-primer side. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think you can just kind of figure out which, um, if you want to easily diffuse or kind of like build but now, okay, now I'm feeling, I'm definitely feeling the primer side. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this side seems so much more <sighs> defined and smooth. And this side, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of used to having my eyeshadow like this. I'm very, sometimes I don't use primer at all and I'm okay with blending and building, so. It's not a big deal, but I do feel like this is kind of the cleaner application. Uh, now I'm gonna go in Lush, which is kind of a wine burgundy shade, and I'm using the same brush, and I'm kind of, I wanna sort of build just like an ombre, I don't know, you know? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I might pull Azalea a little higher. Okay, one of my favorite things about Alter Ego is probably like this number six and this number eight. These brushes I might even go in number eight. And I think I'm gonna go in Snapdragon. It's kind of, it's pink, it's rose. It's like a, a medium rose. And I am gonna go along my lower lash line. I just, I love this. I love detail brushes. I love big fluffy brushes, but lately I'm really about kind of more detail. So I know this is a lot of pink. It's gonna be a lot of red. Don't worry, I'm gonna calm it down and just all you're gonna see are my green eyes. I'm gonna take number five and I'm gonna go in violet. Violet, you're turning violet. Because I want to add the depth in the crease. You guys, if I can't use any opportunity in life for a Willy Wonka reference, you know, who am I? I'm also gonna take this down because I like to kind of, I like to use two colors on my lower lash line. I'm going to take a number three and I'm going in um, this petal 
It's nice and pale. I, ooh. That's kind of like a satin matte. I just washed these brushes, so they're shedding a smidge. Okay, now I'm gonna go and I'm going to blend, but not like furiously all over the place, just kind of at the seam. Okay, this shade here, Black Dahlia, it's, <clears throat> It's really cool. It's a very deep plum, and it is gonna go along my upper lash line. Did you hear that? That was like my throat. That was weird. A little bit Black Dahlia with um, my number, no number brush and just get a smidge right here. Um, I'm going to take my finger and just see how this Lily goes on with my finger there I might that's very satisfying I'm I was gonna say I might take some setting spray but feeling very satisfied here all right let's finish my look with some brushes so they came in this pouch is a face brush set I mean there's small brushes in here it's basically just a full complete brush set and um, I uh, what oh look at this okay so we do have quite a few I oh, there's a pencil I love I love a pencil brush okay so these look like they are for eyes um, and then these are for I could have used these for my eyeshadow. Wow, way to go, Rebecca. Um, these look great, okay. Oh, yes, I'm gonna try this one. Are they numbered? I do not see, oh yes, this is number one. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So I'm gonna use number one, two, and three. I am going to take uh, number one and I'm gonna pop it in the Becca Hydramist powder. I'm wearing the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation. I had put that on from a while ago, actually. I love to just do a light dusting of this uh, powder. These brushes are vegan, cruelty-free, very soft very affordable. Okay, actually I'm gonna take this number three. This kind of is like an angled shader. Looks great for, I don't, I mean I kind of contour. I'm gonna do a little contour. I know I'm kind of high end here, which is funny since Alter Ego is so affordable, but I do have my Charlotte Tilbury Mini Filmstar Bronzer set. Um, I do love this for contour. It's perfect for, how pale I am. The large size does come with a, um, in a, uh, a shade, <laughs> a choice. This is so nice. Like sometimes a contour brush can be too dense and then I feel like I'm getting a little too much going on and this is perfect. We're gonna go back in the, um, this fluffy number one. I've got this Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in 01 Cool. It's kind of matte. What I love about it is it's, it looks darker in the pan than how it really goes on. It's a very soft, 
not, I mean, it is matte. Um, it's just a very soft bronzer. Very subtle. I'm gonna try this number four for highlight. I do have the hourglass. I'm gonna go with the center. And I actually don't remember. I think this is the new one, but it could be the old one. I am the worst. Okay, glistening strobe light, I think, is what I'm using. And um, normally I use a brush that's a little bit more kind of domed. This one's a little bit more flat, but it's working. It's working. While I'm in here, what's this one? Oh, I haven't used this one yet. <laughs> this is number two. I'm gonna pop in this shade right here. For a bit of color. <laughs> okay. So I love those brushes. I have always loved Alter Ego eyeshadow brushes. So having the now the complexion face brushes, awesome, great addition to their collection. And I am very pleased with the shadows and the shadow primer I thought really made a difference. I'll get a little bit close in again. You can see how it looks a little more put together after mascara. It's just lovely. My discount code, I will leave links if you're interested. So, and thanks again, Alter Ego, for sending these to me. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will link some of my other Alter Ego reviews so you can see um, if you want a different palette um, from them. Uh, yeah, so, okay, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.